Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collab with Winnie BLV and Yoda Style. And we are going to be showing our Bag Charm collection. So I'm actually sitting on the floor. I don't have a really good space where I can put this stuff in front of me and be on a chair and get everything in view in a comfortable way. So we're gonna bear with it. Let me show you my little tree of bag charms. I actually bought this on Amazon maybe about four years ago, maybe a little bit better. And you can see this is made out of an iron and it's sprayed white. It's fairly heavy with all the charms on it. And each little piece of it has these little curly cues and you can hang a charm from any of those places. It's actually made to hold jewelry, but bag charms are jewelry for me. So that's all there is. But before we get into the tree, let me get into some of the other pieces that I have that are in this bag. So I'm gonna start off showing some of the pieces that I got from Coach, which you've probably seen before. So I have my Basquiat bag charm and it's a stopped in transit in the back. I have to take the key holder off of it because I'm not gonna be using it as a key holder. I use this on my Basquiat Rogue. And the next I have my Basquiat Pez dispenser. And this is actually from the outlet. It has the monogram canvas in back. And again, I need to take off the key ring because I don't use these for keys. It's really hard sometimes to get those off and I don't want to break a nail, so there, there you are. <laughs> okay, I have these two metallic leather tassels from Dress Up Your Purse, and these both came from Yoda. One of them was sent as a gift, and one of them I won in her giveaway when I won the snowman picture. These are adorable, and they're the perfect size to put on your mini pochette, which is what I do with them. Or you could also put them on a pochette accessoire. I've done that as well. And some of my mini bags. I'm not going to go through putting all these on bags today because we'll be here forever because there's a lot of charms to see. But that's what I do with them. So I also got this other gorgeous charm from Yoda. And this is in suede. It's a double tassel. And the great thing about this is you could put this on a bag that doesn't really have a place, you know, a D-ring or any metal area that you could attach it to. And you could put this around the handles. I've used this on several bags. I've used this on my Longchamp Small. And I've also used this on my Her Bag. And it looks really great with both of those. So I have a lot of charms from La Durée. Uh, some limited editions and some of their regular collection. So let's see. I have this single macaron charm and it's got the ribbon that says La Dore Paris. You can see here. And it's just one single macaron and it has this nice little clasp that opens like this so it's really secure. You can see it has the La Dure L, and this is actually pretty heavy. This is solid. I also have the cherries, and these are just two cherries, and then there's a La Dure medallion in the back. It says Le Secret de La Dure, and these are made by the company Marks. And I want to say that these were actually made for the Asian market and for Japan. Marks is a Japanese company, but you can get them here in the U.S. And you can get them in the Paris store, but it seems like they've been produced by Marks, particularly for Japan. I also have this charm from La Dure, and this is three macarons, and it's a mocha colored ribbon, and we have the medallion, and the little Eiffel Tower, and then you have the three macarons. I love this on Damier Ben, that's the reason why I bought it. 
but you could really wear it on monogram or pretty much with anything. I'm just gonna kind of shift around, guys. Part of my vacuum that's in the corner. Um, let's get that out of the way. I've been doing some cleaning today and, you know, things are kind of all over the place, sort of. So this is a smaller version of the La Durée Charm. And this has a flat medallion and the Eiffel Tower and just a plain green bow. And you can see that this is a smaller size. This is a much, this one is a much smaller size. And I also use this on my Damier Azure Pochette Accessoire. <coughs> Excuse me, I thought the colors would look, really look great on it and it does. And then I have this. This is another of the larger charms, but this has a little girl walking a poodle on this side. You can see her here. And then it has the three charms and the Eiffel Tower, and this has a gray ribbon. And again, this is the larger size. This looks really, really pretty on a neutral color or on a pale pink. And I have a coach bag that I wear this on. It's the mini sienna and it's like a dusty rose color. And this really brings it out. It looks very, very pretty with it. So I have one more. La Dure. And this is again in the smaller size and it has the medallion, you can see the medallion and the Eiffel Tower. And this is sort of, I guess a lavender, like a bright lavender color. So let's move on now. Oops, I have another coach charm. And this is my coach Lunar New Year Tiger. Of course, in dedication to my own tiger. It's never going to be as cute as Tiger, guys, but hey, he's cute. He's a pretty good size. I've worn him on my Coach Cassie, and I've worn him on my Neverfull, and he really looks adorable there. And even though it's for Lunar New Year, I think that it's really an all-year kind of charm. He's just so cute. So, oh, I've got this one. <laughs> Oh, well. So this is another La Durée charm. This is a limited edition Christmas charm from a couple of years ago. And it has the little poof and the three macarons in the pink, white, and gray, and then an Eiffel Tower. And this bow in the center is velvet. And one more. This is a small and it has the black, white, and red. So I really love these on my Speedy. I could wear any of these on my Speedy because the Speedy is a nice blank canvas and it's just perfect for hanging little charms. And this is a really good size. It's not too big. Even the big ones aren't too big on the Speedy, but they would be a little bit large for a mini bag. So, I have a couple of charms from Charming Charlie. Remember them. I have this Cherries charm, which is reminiscent of the Murakami Cherries. And when I saw it, it was like $4. I had to have it. It's just too, too cute. And then I have this Flamingo charm because I love flamingos. They are one of my absolute favorite birds. I adore them. And when I saw this, I had to have it. And he's got little floppy legs. So cute. And his little glittery wing. And I just love to use him in the summertime. He's just an adorable little, or she, could be a she, I don't know. So I have this little fashion girl that I picked up at the Philadelphia Art Museum. Oh, here's her front. And I was there to see a fashion exhibit and they had these for sale. 
and you can see she's wearing a little brooch right here and she's carrying a purse there's her little purse and she has cute little shoes and she's articulated and her little gemstone quartz head it's just so so cute I'm a little careful when I wear this. I don't feel any sharp edges, but I don't want any of this lace or the glue on it to scrape against anything that's too delicate. So I try to wear this mainly against canvas because it's not gonna hurt canvas, but I do think that she's a little darling. And I have this Christmas charm that I bought from Brighton. And guys, I love Brighton charms, and it seems like they're not making that many charms anymore. Look how adorable he is. He's such excellent quality. He's very, very lightweight. And I've had him for probably four years now. I think I got him in 2018. So he's going on his fourth Christmas, and he's still going strong. And I never fail to get a compliment because he's just absolutely adorable. So I have this other charm here that was a giveaway from La Mer. And I think that it's just gorgeous. It has the little jar of creme de la mer and it has a piece of coral, a wave, and then the last part of it is just blue like the ocean and I wear this on my oops on my azure near Noe. and it really looks pretty on there I think that this is just a beautiful beautiful charm and it was free I mean it's really good high quality it's very heavy the pieces here are substantial it looks like it's partly enameled you can see that this is textured and it says La Mer. Doesn't it say La Mer, please? <laughs> yes, it says La Mer. <laughs> Thought my eyes were deceiving me. So it's, it's really a pretty bag to wear with blue and with anything that you wanna put it on for the summer. And no, I'm not putting this on my blue Chanel. I'd be too afraid. That doesn't get any charms. So I have, I keep saying so, I don't know why. There's another charm here from Dior. This is the luggage tag that came with the silver beauty gift and it has a mirror. And it has the address tag. And this is nice to put on a tote bag. I mean, I said that when I unboxed the silver loyalty gift. You don't need to put this on a piece of luggage. I mean, you can if you want, but you can put this on a tote bag or any kind of carry bag where you wanna be able to have access to the mirror or just dress it up a little bit. I mean, I use this pretty much on anything. And the next charm is similar to the Louis Vuitton Payette. But just so you know, these charms, back chain charms, have been in style since the 1950s. So Louis Vuitton did not invent this style of charm, but they made one like it. And I think that they did try to replicate Vuitton on some level because there's a lock and a key. There are several designs here that sort of look like the Louis Vuitton florette. I can't remember where I bought this from. I think Shoptique. I'll show it against my arm. And I want to say this was somewhere around $50. It wasn't a cheap cheapie. And I had a coupon and paid the $50 for it. So it was a really good deal. But I wear this, anything that has two handles where there's an attachment, it really looks pretty. It looks very, very classy. Um, and I enjoy it. And speaking of a Louis Vuitton, this is not Louis Vuitton, but this is upcycled Louis Vuitton that I ordered from Etsy. K 
paint in this Louis Vuitton dust bag. And I think this is just beautiful. It's a crane. It's a Japanese crane and it's made from the Louis Vuitton canvas. It has these little rivets here and you could see that it's actually made to look folded and you don't see the LV except for like a little tiny piece of it there and then on the inside the way that it's folded and again they're not pretending to duplicate a Louis Vuitton charm it's just an upcycled piece and I really think that it's it's pretty I haven't used this yet I don't know why I haven't used it yet I think that I had this down here in one of my drawers after I bought it and I always think about it when it's too late and I'm gonna have to put this into rotation because it's really really pretty and I often like to hang these kind of charms on the side of a bag because then you get to see the movement and it just looks really cute so I'm gonna put this away if I could find the seller I will put it in the description box but I purchased it maybe about a year ago or so so I have a couple of little poofs I have this fur poof he tied he heard poof and here he comes we have this little fur poof and this is just from Amazon and I like that it has a really secure clip and nothing else dangling from it and I do have one in pink somewhere see how it opens I have one in pink somewhere but unfortunately I couldn't find it this is an Ugg charm someone gave it to me my friend Lisa she got this as a free gift when she bought some Uggs so this is a little bit of shearling and it has the pink ribbon and she doesn't like pink at all so she gave it to me and I use it on my bags now so we're coming into the home run guys and these are two very recent purchases the first inspired by Winnie are you ready for it it is my very first tiny bag it's the coach denim collection hobo bag miniature give it a little autumn beckman spin because it is a cute little tiny bag this is metal guys and you can actually fit a hand sanitizer inside i tried here's what it looks like inside i can't crossbody it because there's really no place that i could attach a chain to but if I know Winnie, she'd try. She'd figure out some way to crossbody this. But when I saw it, I said, this is just too adorable. I have to have it. So I got it. And then last but not least, I purchased this on Etsy maybe two weeks ago. It's a little miniature Perkin. And it has a little silk twilly-like ribbon. And I know some people really frown on this kind of stuff. It's, you know, like a dupe again, but look, it's got little feet and the lock even moves. The turn lock moves and it opens. I'm not gonna open it now. The little sangles come off and you can get into the bag. I'm not gonna open it cause it's a little bit difficult to get back together, at least for me. However, could you resist? I'm going to put this on my her bag and I'm going to rock it. I don't care if anybody knows it's real, not real. It doesn't bother me because I'm not paying thousands for a little miniature Birkin. I'm doing my little Autumn Beckman spin here. Let's get a close, close, close up of this little baby. So cute. So yeah. So there you have it. I mean, it's, it's a good bit of charms. I do use them all. I enjoy them. And now go check out Yoda and check out Winnie and see what their collection looks like. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.